Queen's crazy antics. For the launch party of jazz, Freddie Mercury descended into a decadent oblivion with an event that belongs in the realm of fiction, not fact. The night was one of the wildest that the world has ever seen. To give you a flavor, at one point in the evening, the line, Oh, Freddie Mercury is sniffing cocaine off of a hermaphrodite dwarf's head again was auspiciously uttered. With celebrities, socialites, journalists, and attendants, guests were greeted at New Orleans' Fairmont Hotel, not with a handshake or a friendly nod of the head, but with a blowjob or cunning with sex from the gender of their choosing, which I suppose you could argue is actually the friendliest head nod of them all. Most hotels offer guests room service. Freddie Mercury famously quipped to uncut journalist John Wilde, this one offers them lip service. As far as entertainment goes, the famed publicist Bob Gibson used his 200,000 pound budget to hire a man who specialized, for want of a better word, in biting the heads off of live chickens. Alongside that foul defacer where was Zulu tribesmen, fire eaters and drag queens were naked models writhing in baths of uncooked liver with no doubt absolutely stunk, there were also magicians in attendance to hold up the rather more wholesome side of things, all while a handful of 300-pound Samoan women lounged on banquet tables in the nude smoking cigarettes out of various orifices. Now, that sounds like a party.